Hello, it's Angel. I am out in my garden again and it's kind of sunny and hot and bright, but we gotta do this when we can do this, right? So I'm going to kind of worry about this bed right here today. It's kind of a bunch of different stuff all together. Um, some of the things that I really wanna focus on are the coxcomb flowers and getting them out and saving the seeds. My great grandmother used to grow coxcombs and I really love them because they remind me of her. Uh, she used to cut the flowers off at the end of the year and she would hang them upside down throughout the winter with a brown paper bag over them, over the flower part to collect the seeds. And then the next year she would put the seeds out where she wanted them to grow and she would grow more coxcombs. And that's how she was able to um, have coxcombs every year. She did that with the coxcombs and with the four o'clock flowers. Now, none of the coxcombs I have here or the four o'clock flowers that I have are from her garden, which kind of makes me sad, but they're in memory of her, so there's that. Uh, I've also got a bunch of thyme here. Uh, it's kind of got weeds grown through it, but I would like to take some of the thyme and hang it up and harvest that so I can have some dried thyme over the winter. And then over here, I have toothache plant. Now, I've harvested quite a bit of that and I've got some I wanna save for seeds. This here, I think I'm going to harvest some to put in a Ziploc bag and save uh, and freeze. That way if anybody has a toothache over the winter, then I can take one of the flowers out, let it thaw, and let them uh, chew on it and get that antiseptic relief from the toothache plants. So I've got plenty to save for seeds already and this I'm just going to save for medicinal use. I've also seen something uh, where someone had made a mouthwash with them. So that's something I would kind of like to try maybe here in the future sometime. Uh, but right now I just kind of want to harvest some stuff and make sure I've got it put aside for different uses I want to use it for. Okay, so here is one of my smallest coxcombs and if you look in there if you can see that those are seeds those little from the coxcomb they're all throughout the flower and when they fall out they're mature so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the coxcombs and try and shake out any seeds that are loose and mature and ready lay them out to dry and then I'm going to hang the flowers upside down with a bag over them to collect any more that fall out because when I was shopping for coxcomb seeds to grow this year they are really expensive except from Baker's Creek I got this variegated coxcomb plant which was very beautiful, lots of different colors in it. And they gave me quite a few seeds for not very much money, but other places it was very expensive. So I am saving the seeds from these for sure. Here is a really good example of the seeds inside the coxcomb. You see all of those little black things are seeds so I should be able to get enough coxcombs to last a lifetime just from this one plant 
and I've got those pulled up. I will be pulling up this coxcomb. It was my favorite. I'm not sure if you can see the stalk was a dark burgundy, just like the flower. And I really, really want to save seeds from that guy there. I just think he's so beautiful. And I don't know if cross-pollination is something I have to worry about. And I don't really think I care. I think that even if I planted seeds from that flower and it came out with kind of the variegated coloring of this one, I don't think I would mind at all, but just going to save seeds and, and plant me some more coxcombs next year. So if you see here, this little cabbage has had some issues and I think it is time for him to come up out of the garden. He's been here for a long time. And I'm not sure if there's much I can do with that. It looks like there's a lot of bugs that have eaten on him. But I'm just gonna pull him up and get him out of there. And then even with the time, I'm just gonna grab some big chunks of it and just kind of rip it out of there. Oh, it smells so good. Love thyme. I have plans on doing a video about thyme in the garden. Ha ha ha. No pun intended. And this looks like maybe a little more. Thyme is a perennial, so it will come back. I planted this last year, and it got huge this year so if you look that's quite a bit of time there's some grass in there but I'm just gonna put that in my bowl and then I can hang that up to dry So that's what I have now, um, a lot fewer toothache plant flowers, less time in the garden, and only a couple of coxcombs left, but I've got some work to do in the house now, and it's getting sweaty and bright and really kind of itchy out here. So. I'm gonna head inside and start to save some seeds and put away some things for the winter and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. I love your guts and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.